Exchange with my husband Waylon Adams and inside the hometown exchange we have the beauty box that started way back in 1993 I came on board in 1994 then we also have the exchange which is a rental venue that's right across the hallway and then we have an artisan shop that has over 40 different local artisans the beauty box started in 1993 and then I came on in 1994 and I took it over in 2002 after the fire I don't know how many of y'all remember that and we've been in several locations, but this is it forever because me and my husband's bought this spot, and so we'll be here forever. So we have nine stylists, and then we have we offer manicures and pedicures, facials, and massages. And some of our styles we have Joey Hathaway, Larissa Elkasevic, she's all the way from Germany, Tracy Underwood, Tanya Rouse, Caitlin Green, Allie Cantu, Jamie Stroud Williams, and Brenda Pope, and myself. Tell us about some of the services that you guys provide here at Beauty Box. Well, this is the pedicure room, and we have two. So you and your best friend, or you can make a husband and wife, or mother-daughter day. And now I want to introduce you to Allie Cantu, who's one of our hairstylists and our manicure pedicurist. What are some, what are some of the work that you do here, Allie? Um, I offer a full range of manicure and pedicure services. Um, I offer traditional polish from OPI mostly, but a couple of other brands as well. And I also offer CND shellac, which is the most amazing thing to happen to fingernails since Charles Revson invented nail polish. Here at Box, we offer all kinds of wax services, eyebrows, Lips, chin, bikini, underarms, legs, you name it, we can wax it. You grow hair, we can do it, handle it. So let's go back here to the spa services. Back here, this is double insulated, so it's extra quiet. So this is our facial room. And Michelle Moore is our licensed esthetician, and she does all kinds of treatments for your face, chemical peels, acne treatments. Um, she helps get rid of your small wrinkles. So contact Michelle if you would like to get a facial treatment. Let's meet her real quick. Okay. She's over here. Doing laundry. And this is Michelle. <laughs> and How long have you been with uh, Beauty Box? Um, about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. What's the favorite what's your favorite part of your job? My clients. Yeah. Getting to know everybody. That's fun. Being able to help people. Spot area. And one neat thing that when we design this place. I want a private bathroom for the people that are reserving spa services. So here is the bathroom with the shower. So if you happen to get a body scrub or anything like that, here's a shower that you can rinse off in, got shampoo and all that stuff for you. And then we even do spray tans in the summertime. You need that little bit of glow, we can handle that too. I tell people all the time, I work right beside a living legend. So I don't even really have to introduce him, but it is Joey Hathaway. Tell us a little bit about uh, how long you've been here in Kinston, how long you've been a part of the Beauty Box, Joey. I've been in Kinston uh, all my life, and I've been a part of uh, the hair industry for 42 years. I've been with the Beauty Box since it originated, and uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, we've... Uh, been in several locations and uh, we are enjoying our new location. This chair I know has some special significance. T tell us a little bit about this chair. Um, I'm third generation hairdresser. Uh, my grandfather was a barber, uh, started back in the mid 40s. This was a chair that he bought during the depression, which was my father's chair. They both did hair for 50 years. This is my 42nd year. And so, uh, luckily, I ended up with this chair, and it means a lot to us.
the exchange. And so we rent this place out. It's 2,400 square foot. And we rent it out to birthday parties. We even had couples get married here, reunions. And so these are tables and chairs that are included. And then there is a kitchen in there where it has a stove, two ovens, a refrigerator. So you can get somebody to cater or you can come in and heat up your own meatballs, you know. So whatever you choose to do. But I love this room because this is a historical building. And that's when I fell in love with this building. Um, the tin ceiling is original. And these beams were covered up. And so when we were doing a the construction, they were able to uncover it. And we saw they were strong enough that we could keep them. And the brick was all covered up with sheetrock. And so this room really shows the history and the age of what this building. So it was built in the early 1900s. And even over at our fireplace, it's a picture of Kinston in the, er, I say the 1940s or 1950s. So what I really love is when visitors come, they stop off at Leon Thomas, and if I have time, I'll bring them in here just to show them this part. And some of them actually stay at the O'Neill. So it's real fun to say, hey, there's your bedroom back in the 40s or 50s, you know. What does the Kinston Lenore County Chamber of Commerce mean to you, Tanya? Well, I've been a member with the Chamber for many years, and as a business owner, I think it's very important to be involved with such a great organization that's going to help you network and get your name out and expose you. And so, just being a business owner, I always think it's a necessity to be part of the Chamber of Commerce. It's a great organization with great people working there, and they're on your side. Even when the flood came, and I was on the south side of town, and I couldn't make it here, Laura Lee was calling me up and David Mooring, making sure that I wanted sandbags around all of these doors I've had. Um, so they totally took care of that when I was sitting on the other side where I couldn't get to my building. So that right there says a whole lot about the Chamber of Commerce and I'm so glad that I'm a member of the Kentsville North County Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm.